Hi, this is Thundee from BorderWork.com and welcome to our first screencast which we will be using to review PowerDirector 9. PowerDirector 9 is the latest in the PowerDirector video editing software series and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the whole framework and give you guys a good idea of how the software works. So first of all, if you look at the bottom of the screen, the icon has changed. This is actually the icon here for PowerDirector 9. It's now a movie reel with a um, basically a camera you know, included in it. The framework still looks the same. Um, you do have your preview screen on the right. And at the bottom, you do have your uh, storyboard set up or uh, you can switch views to timeline, whichever ones you want. At the top left hand corner, you do have your uh, functions for capture, edit, produce and create disk. Um, uh, the first the first option in the left hand corner is your media room where your media content would be uh, uploaded to so your pictures your videos which you'd be adding together to create your new video reel will, will be uploaded to that section um, then you do have your um, you do have your your effects room where you can select different effects and apply them to your videos um, up next is your picture to picture objects so you can actually have uh, picture to picture images I have a few here like uh, wildfire which you can see on the right hand side which is a wild horse and uh, you can download more from direct to zone uh, next we have the particle room which allows you to add in particle effects you can add in different effects like you can see on the right hand side or you can download uh, effects from direct to zone also um, Title room. Title room allows you to add different title phases to your uh, your videos. For for instance, we have this title, which shows you know uh, a message which we like to remind our fans to check out Boto Work at different avenues: Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, which you can also. And you can create your different titles to actually and animate them to actually appear um, in your videos. Um, next up we have the transition room which allows you to add different transitional breaks to your videos so you might have two different video segments you want a transition clip this is one which shows a reel you can have a transition flip uh, um, that is a, is a fading screen so different options here for your transition um, screens um, up next you do have the audio mixing room which allows you to mix in audios on your voice channel uh, your music channel and your two audio sources and those audio sources can increase with the amount of videos you add within your storyboard or your timeline which I'll get to um, you also have your voice over recording so you can actually separate audio and record um, a different audio as you can see it's actually picking up a microphone because the software is up so uh, you can do that and that you can add that to your videos in different formats you do have your chapter room if you're making a um, a DVD scene sequence and you can add subtitles to your videos of course that will happen when you actually have a track uh, playing so let's go ahead and go to the main options like I said this is the editing area um, you can go into the produce area uh, once we have something uh, available we can produce it and we can create disk um, <coughs> excuse me now let's uh, go down to the bottom here and check out the storyboard and timeline venue. Right now it's in timeline mode. We can switch it over to storyboard if you feel like. Uh, we'll go back to timeline. I prefer using that. On your timeline, you do have um, basically you have different um, uh, video segments to so attach videos and pictures and clips and and transitions and audio and music as you can see on the left hand side here so why don't we try and start a, a project see how it looks in working with power director um, on the very top just to go to the settings it does have your aspect ratio set at 16.9 you can change to 4.3 you do have your do undo and do uh, buttons you have your save you do have your playback option if you go to view this shows you uh, the different uh, options we went through voice over audio mixing transition and things like that I do have a zoom option to zoom, zoom in, in and out um, uh, we do if you go to edit they have some edit options and preferences you can go into and the preferences takes us basically to our general settings where in the general settings you as you can set the amount of undos I set my TV format to NTSC um, I can also enable HD processing of shadow files and so on and so forth. Go to capture. This setups my capture. Uh, if I'm using the webcam to capture a uh, video, 
and, and edit it directly I can the confirmation shows me different options here for confirmation and it will file detection on hard drive director zone if I'm a member of director zone I can sign in to retrieve uh, contents uh, from director zone like particle effects and transition effects um, <clears throat> Uh, editing shows your timeline. You can set up your cross phase transitions and things like that. Files just shows file location where it'll be stored. Um, hardware acceleration. I have AMD accelerated parallel hardware because AMD does support power direct to nine and then enable hardware decoding. So basically, just give it better performance. Uh, I can number of recently used projects. I can actually have them saved and auto saving projects every ten minutes or maybe less. And my produce options, reduce video blocky artifacts into LC4 optimization. I set that. Uh, picture quality of 3D slideshow. I can also make 3D videos and allow SVRT on single IDR uh, H.264 videos. So you do have many options um, in your preferences for this. So let's go ahead and, and start a project and just see how it looks. So we go to file, um, new project, which we have. Um, now let's. Um, Let's import. Let's import a media file. So we go to media file, import. Um, this shows a couple of files. This, I go to my desktop. I have a folder, Skype, and um, you know I will take the. I can select a couple of videos here, and I will open them in. So that imports the videos into. Um, your editing area. You can see uh, the preview on the right. If I press play, in five, four, three, two, one. So, um, this is you've heard the sound quality of, of the command um, one. Um, video. You, now, um, I can switch the initial video. Now, all I have to do is drag it in and drop it into the first video column. It tells me video is recorded in PAL because that's how my camera is set. I can always prompt for that to change TV conflicts, hit OK, it does that. I can drag the second video, I can either attach it to the back here or I can actually drop it at the bottom and hit OK. So I do have two videos on two different video channels. Now of course you can see the video and the audio are separated. You have different options, You can I can split the videos, for instance I can go to this first video and decide maybe it's too long, I can just split it right there and have two split segments. I can either cut and chop by basically dragging uh, the ticker bar there and saying, okay, you know what, I don't like this segment of the video, and all I have to do is cut, or I can copy it, I can remove, I can render a preview of what I have. Um, you can also uh, modify clips. You can uh, do a multi-trim, you can trim, you can fix and enhance, which what that does, it basically helps you adjust lighting. So I can do that, and uh, that automatically adjusts the lighting on the right hand side. I can stabilize. I can add many of the options to it, but I'm just going to take those out of this video. And um, you can apply different options into your video. So we'll go out of that. We can go into Power Tools, um, and that helps reverse video, crop the video size, video speed, we can enhance or reduce. Um, a lot of things are similar to Power Director 8. The good thing about Power Director 9 is that it does, uh, it does enhance video uh, processing with a 64-bit processor, so it's much faster. One thing that's also different is that you do have picture-in-picture -picture columns, but with uh, Power Director uh, 9, it doesn't state that you can't add picture-in-picture -picture columns on your um, directly or what you can add is actually video columns so if I click on where should be picture in picture columns it says add video track add audio track position below or above and I add um, audio track um, I can add it below or above I say above track one I hit OK and it adds video track above as you can see and the other track below so that's what happens with um, the new additive to PowerDirector 9. There are a few things. Uh, it's, it runs much smoother. Um, the um, transition effects are a bit more um, fluid. So I'm going to add one here. And I'll show you what the transition effect looks like. I can just move the video back, hit movie, 
and that is pretty much it for the hard stuff guys this shows you your on so basics you on and off switch how to wear it charge it like i said it works a lot of things work very well it's very simple to use um from here i've created this video file of this movie i can easily go to produce and the cool thing about power direct 9 is that it gives you the opportunity to uh, take the file and produce it directly for certain formats so i can produce for a device which is, you know, I can produce for um, uh, Apple products, uh, Sony or Microsoft products, um, produce for MP4 portables, which is basically MP3 players, um, cameras and webcams. I can make it YouTube ready immediately and sign on to YouTube and basically have this automatically upload to YouTube as soon as I'm done um, creating my video. Or I could do the same for Facebook and it will do automatically the same thing. And... Facebook settings at full um, 1080p all the way down to 320 by 180. Um, YouTube the same thing all the way to 320 by 180. Um, so this allows you to do a lot of options. Or you could just do the manual file options and select whatever file formats or audio file formats you want to actually record. So you can actually just create an audio file and uh, be done. And you can, for instance, with Windows Media uh, file format, you can also do that in high definition, 720p, and so on and so forth. And you can select your your destination uh, folder and create a preview window to see how it, what happens while you're recording. So overall, it's uh, PowerDirect is very it's very useful, very nice. Uh, one thing I not noticed that um, some of the features that we've seen with um, um, Adobe Premiere where you can actually have linked uh, options on your videos say for instance to other videos on YouTube or to just different um, sites is not available yet on PowerDirect 9 maybe something will come up with an update but hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this review if you guys have any questions any comments uh, let us know um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed our first uh, screencast so this is Thundee from Borderworks saying thank you and I was enjoying entertainment